Tonight, the body in the boot mystery. WA police launch a murder probe. Back in her parents' arms, the baby kidnapped and held for ransom. And Phil Matera charged over a tangle with an umpire. Sydney Bristow's about to hear the secret. That's been hidden from her for her entire life. And nothing will be the same again tonight. Police launch a murder investigation. A safety probe after a roof collapse at a suburban shopping centre. And back in her parents' arms, the baby girl saved from a kidnapper. You're watching 7 News. Hello and welcome also tonight. Human remains found inside a tiger shark. And later in sport, Phil Matera charged over a tangle with an umpire. We'll talk to John Worsfold live. First tonight to the mystery of the body in the boot in our southwest. The body, believed to be that of a man, was found in a stolen car on the side of a remote country road. As Paula Vos reports, police now want information on a man seen hitchhiking in the area. And forensic tests are being carried out on human remains found inside a massive shark caught off the New South Wales coast. Police say the skull and other bones are well preserved and they're confident of identifying the victim. This is all that's left of the 360s. A wonderful outcome. Ahead tonight, France in turmoil as rioters take to the streets. And facing court. Former One Nation leader Pauline Hanson on fraud charges. And a hero comes home. Mel Gibson on his new war movie. Now, in the interest of saving lives on our roads, the WA police... Mix 94.5 and 7 News present tomorrow's official speed camera locations. Remember, yawning is a warning. In Seven's Money Watch, the Australian share market has started the week slightly higher. The ASX 200 added six points. There were positive results overseas. The Hang Seng jumped 96 points, while the Nikkei piled on 209 points. Across the boards, investors looked to the blue chip stocks, the financials posting a seven-point gain. Gold fell $2.20. Market giant News Corp, one of the biggest movers, up 38 cents. The ANZ Bank, which is preparing to post its half-yearly results, added 21 cents. West Farmers was down 19. Your Australian dollar is buying just over 54 US cents, 37 pence, 60 euro cents and 5,020 rupiah. Former One Nation leader Pauline Hanson has been accused of deceit on the first day of her committal hearing on fraud charges. Met by cheering supporters as she arrived at a Brisbane court, Hanson is facing three charges under the Queensland Elec Electoral Act, including two of dishonestly obtaining almost $500,000 in electoral funding, money which has already been paid back. Party co-founder David Etheridge is also facing charges and is representing himself at the four-week hearing. In Seven's World Watch, France is in turmoil tonight after far-right leader Jean-Marie Le Pen won enough votes to challenge Jacques Chirac for the country's presidency. Lots of football in sport tonight with Baz. And a Star Eagles off to the Tribunal, Baz. Yes, that's right, So Phil Matera called up again. We'll chat to John Worsfold live after the break as a Brownlow favourite gets rubbed out. The dream is over for this season at least. Andrew McLeod guilty. And a former coach says there's no stopping the glory now. Tonight's sport report brought to you by Marlowe's Auto Parts and Accessories.
the second time in two weeks, West Coast Eagles forward Phil Matera will front the AFL Tribunal. This time he's been charged with making contact with an umpire during Saturday's game against Melbourne. The last time Phil Matera tangled with an umpire was two years ago. joined by Eagles coach John Walsfold. And John, let's get straight into it. And firstly, those knee injuries. Have you got a theory on why there's been so many at Subi? <laughs> no, I've got no idea, Basil. It's, uh, it's a mystery. And uh, I suppose we train and play on that ground more than anyone else. Repairs. Steve Nolkovsky, 7 News. RAC obviously don't go to Cyprus. That's all in sport. Here's Rick and Sue. Thanks, Baz. After the break, Miranda Eastman with the weather details. And seeing is believing. Look what popped up in an Aussie pumpkin patch. This weather update is proudly brought to you by Better Electrical. Coming up, a psychologist seducing his female patients. Our hidden camera catches him red-handed. Anger as a schoolboy is told he can't sell flowers because he doesn't have insurance. Plus, eat what you want, lose weight in your sleep. A Perth diet working wonders. And the new sex pill bringing back the sizzle. That's next. Now, Fuel Watch. Perth's petrol prices brought to you by the Department of Consumer Protection and 7 News. Hello, this is Widget. He's a 14-week-old staffy bull terrier cross looking for a home. He's great with kids and would love to live with active people, but Widget's deaf, so he'll need a very special family who's willing to teach him sign language commands. And he's currently at the Malaga office of the RSPCA. Our minimum, 14.3 at 1.34 this morning. The top, 22.6 at 11 o'clock. Currently 18.8 degrees, the relative humidity 91%. The barometer 1009 and rising, wind from the west at 11 kilometres an hour. Temperatures around the metro area, around 23, noticeably cooler in the hills. We've had 6.6 millimetres of rain since 9 this morning, which is great news. Around the state today, our hotspot Roeburn with 40 degrees, the lowest overnight minimum 12 degrees at Bridgetown. Seven satellite weather watch for the past 24 hours. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the north and west Kimberley. In the southern half, scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms throughout the southwest land division and some thunderstorms in the Eucla as well. Some decent falls in parts of the southwest. Witchcliffe had 59 millimetres of rain to nine this morning and a very wet day in Bridgetown. They've had 48 millimetres since nine o'clock. Looking at the synoptic chart, the cold front is slowly moving through the lower southwest bringing those scattered showers. As it heads inland, the band will weaken. The showers should contract to the coast tonight and clear later tomorrow. A high pressure system moving south of the state on Wednesday should bring fine weather and east southeasterly winds. Eastern states tomorrow, an early shower or two for Sydney, early fog in Canberra and Melbourne, fine in all other centres. Boat and surf, west northwest winds, 18 to 23 knots, shifting south southwest 15 to 20 knots by morning and tending southerly 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas to 1.5 metres, the swell to 1.5 as well. The forecast, a shower or two overnight and in the early morning, then fine, a minimum of 14 and up to 21 tomorrow. Wednesday fine, a top of 23, Thursday mainly fine and 25. Friday, fine and 26. Looking ahead to the weekend, a shower or two developing, tops in the low to mid-20s. Good night. Here's Rick. Thanks, Moran. And finally, you might have seen the big banana and the big pineapple, but what about the big pumpkin? This whopper from Port Lincoln in South Australia weighs in at 300 kilograms, an Australian record. Grown by Ken and Rosemary Holden, the pumpkin was planted last November and at one stage was adding 7.5 kilos a day. Now it's off to the local hospital to be turned into soup and lots of it. And that's seven news for this Monday night. I'll be back with updates later. Now here's Monica with Today Tonight. Thanks, Rick. So hello again. Welcome to the program. It's great to have your company. First, the psychologist caught out behaving badly. His patients, who are mostly women, also become his victims. Victims of power games that end in seduction.